Hello and welcome everybody to our dashboarding with Excel series. My name is Marcus Small and I own a website called thesmallman.com. Alright, what are we going to do in this series? Well, firstly, we're going to have a look at dashboarding in the context of correct layout, how do you structure your dashboard, and when you get to the design phase, what do you need to do? Where do you put your tables? Where do you put your charts? How can you be consistent? We're going to go through the creation of formula using a one cell to rule them all methodology. So if you change that single cell, everything changes. We're going to set up the dashboard so it looks clean. It's clear it's consistent and it tells a compelling story and if you follow my methodology you'll be able to do this time and time again we're going to add all the bells and whistles we're going to add things like slices option buttons combo boxes we're going to put in all the conditional formatting and we're going to do a whole lot more than that so we're going to create eight individual dashboards these will go from the reasonably simple to the very very complex and what it will do it will give you practice on the journey and here are some of the outputs so we're going to create a balanced scorecard and then a range of Excel dashboards from uh, these ones right here where we spin the dashboard based on a unique VBA procedure so all you have to do is roll over the cells that you need and the dashboard will change. I'll show you how to create some interesting charts so you can display the data in a unique and compelling way. And this here is our advanced dashboard. If you can put this dashboard together, mark my words, you can do pretty much anything in Excel. Dashboard is kind of, dashboarding is kind of the pointy end of the creation of an Excel file, workbook, financial model. It displays those things that are most important. And if you can do that in a clear and logical way, you can get your message across seamlessly. Now, let's have a look at the layout of our spreadsheet or what actually happens behind the scenes. What I'll teach you to do is to calculate based on multiple criteria, to exclude information using the NA function in the, in the, for the purposes of charting, and just sort of instill in you how to clearly lay out a spreadsheet. And here's another example, just one of the files that we use, our calculations page is drawing on our inputs pages that are just clearly set out. It is my view that you do all of your heavy lifting in the calculations pages. And then by the time you get to the output page, your dashboard sheet, the information should just fall into that page. And this methodology repeats over and over and over again until it's instilled in you and your Excel skills improve incrementally to the point where you can then do this by yourself and that's the goal I truly wish to get those uh, concepts across so you can produce dashboards just like the ones that I've got on my website and you can do them in your own time and thinking about the things that I'll teach you how to set up a spreadsheet how to clearly structure your data and how to get the information to fall in the dashboard with very little effort indeed. All right, so hopefully you enjoy everything that I've got to teach you during this dashboarding series. I've developed these methodologies over a number of years and they seem very, very popular. And if you follow these uh, webinar videos, you should have that skill set as well. Enjoy everybody.